first way I got integrated into the school and, and, and really became socially involved in school was through music. I uh, was in the talent show, I was in the choir, and I had a, a lot of great teachers and, 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 and a, a lot of great support around me, and a lot of it was due to me being involved in the arts. For me, being an American means expressing myself. I'm here at a performing arts high school to talk about how arts education is changing American society. It's a way to express yourself and you can really connect with a lot of different people. I feel it helps you to express yourself and so that you can let all your emotions out. Art is important. Art is important for me because it helps me express myself and it just makes me feel like I'm at America benefits when kids are exposed to art by producing young people who are smart, challenging thinkers. And that's the number one reason I keep doing what I'm doing. Art helps our culture to advance because I think arts provide a mirror through which we see a reflection of ourselves. It gives us a rich, uh, diverse way of thinking about the world that we live in. A recent study done by the city of Reno found that arts-related employers were the number four employer in Washoe County. Uh, I found that really surprising, but when I think about what employers are arts-related, I find that actually there's a lot going on in Reno. It's very rich and very exciting. Most of what we remember from ancient civilizations has to do with art. We as Americans have to leave a legacy of creativity starting at school. Irish kids need something, they need an outlet to let all their feelings, emotions, all the things that they can't portray in the outside world. Like, art gives them a space to actually create and um, advocate for themselves and show emotions to, um, to the class and create a safe space for them. And there are just so many life skills that we can learn from it, such as like cooperation, empathy, advocacy. Like, all these things we're able to learn just from one small performance, one small scene, or one small painting, or one small pick up of an instrument. We can learn so much just from these little things. And, and America just needs to just try and just put themselves out there, just try and understand a little bit better of the arts and what they're actually fully capable of doing. Some of the challenges really include, um, um, there will always, I feel like there will always be a lack of funding for the arts. Because um, um, arts is integrated in every, in every um, area of education. Um, but for some reason, we're not getting the funding and the support that we need the full benefit of what arts can really do um, um, in, in other fields and other areas and other careers. So it's about educating them and getting the resources in these spaces, but you know, those, those resources are not in the schools. However, funding for arts education is continually looked at as a low priority. When I visit schools, the place where young people feel the safest, where young people feel they can be themselves, is almost always the arts teacher's classroom. And that, of course, in our public schools, are the places that are being cut faster and faster. Based on the jobs that will be available for the students that are graduating from high school at this point in college, we do have more jobs increasing in the areas of STEM, which is science, technology, engineering, and math. Still, self-expression is a key part of being an American. I think art can be very helpful in students' um, learning because it helps them get out of the box thinking. So if I'm in computer science and I only think like black and white, what about that whole gray area? And what about the entrepreneur or the someone who's going to fit something new? That's not the person who's just following the direction from A to Z. That's someone with a creative mind. And so to enhance creative minds, we need the arts along with the STEM technology really to create a well rounded end up going to uh, University of Pennsylvania when I graduated high school and uh, I think a lot of that was due to the confidence that I developed from music and from performing to also be good in my other studies and and to be a better leader and and to to be a member of the community. I find every single day that at-risk kids in our program feel like they have a place where they belong and I think that's one of the key things in education today is that we supply an environment where kids feel like they have somewhere that they belong. A lot of research supports that if kids feel like they belong at school, they make it all the way through the finish line at graduation. Education defines the future of our country and art defines our culture. 
The time has come to bridge the gap between the two and recognize them as equally important for a successful life. I mean, that's another thing of teaching kids how to tell their stories and giving them a voice, because right now they don't have one. I like to make music on how I feel. Art is important to me because it's self-expression, and self-expression is a huge part of my life. Art is important to me because it is like creative expression, and you can express if you're feeling mad, sad, happy. You can literally say anything you want without words. Right, it is important.